There's so much to see and do in western New York, but as we know, we need our vehicles to experience it. For most of us, it's not an issue, but for people with mobility limitations, driving can be a challenge. Want to see and do it all? Maine Mobility shows us cost-effective transportation options that will restore your independence. Here's an incredible story of how one man got back in the driver's seat. I grew up up here in western New York. It's a place I love. It's a place that gives me four seasons and I love to have every single season. And uh, I wouldn't trade this place for anything in the world. We're very fortunate to live in an area, western New York, that has so much to see and do. The parks, the downtown settings, our, our harbor centers that are being redeveloped. And unfortunately, some of the individuals out there are struggling because they're in wheelchairs, scooters, or walkers, and have a little harder time getting out to see all these wonderful things. When I was in the United States Army, I wound up getting injured while on active duty. I had a case of tank rounds fall on my, on my leg. I was severely depressed. I was uh, immobile. I couldn't walk anymore, even stand. I was facing the life in a wheelchair and not being able to do anything. I was suicidal, and when I got out of the military, I was depressed so bad that for the first year and a half, I lived under a bridge in cardboard boxes underneath the bridges in Los Angeles. When I found out from the, the VA that I was able to get a vehicle uh, through a vehicle allowance that they had, um, I wound up buying my very first van from Maine Mobility. I contacted them. I didn't know what to expect. I went in, started talking with uh, Chris and Tom. We don't sell wheelchairs and scooters. We work with the companies that do that. Simply put, we can take your existing vehicle and modify it for your accessibility needs or put you into a brand new vehicle that's built that way that will accommodate your wheelchair, your scooter, or whatever is going to be required to get you behind the wheel. They made sure they tailored it to me, not to, not to a standard, um, so that I just get something that's, that's workable. They made it so that it works for me. Sometimes it's as simple as adding something as a handy bar, which is just like an extra handle that attaches to your door jamb to help you get in and out of your vehicle. There are other times where it would make more economic sense to look at a whole different style of vehicle that would accommodate these modifications and make them more feasible for your specific mobility needs. We have one of the largest accessible vehicle showrooms in the entire country. He said, come on over here, I wanna show you this van over here. And he had a smile on his face and I, I said, uh oh, there's something up. He said, what do you think of this van? And he showed me the pickup truck. And I said, I looked at it, I said, it's a pickup truck. He said, yeah, watch this. And he opened the door and watched it. I watched this thing operate. And I was like, that has got to be the best vehicle I've ever seen in my life. If for some reason you can't get here, we will gladly either go to your house and demonstrate it, or we'll pick you up and bring you in and try the things out. And if you have any problems, they'll take care of it immediately. We take pride in having a full service department that'll maintain this vehicle for the duration that you own it. But in addition to that, if your needs change, we can add hand controls. We can put electric lockdown systems in there. It can be extremely affordable because there are many programs throughout New York State that subsidize and cover all of the things we're talking about today. Uh, we have a buyback program. So if the need comes up where you no longer require this vehicle, we'll purchase the vehicle back. I'm in my wheelchair inside this truck. You can't get any better than this. When I'm seeing my clients out there taking trips to Myrtle Beach and, and going out west and, and putting on thousands of miles on a vehicle that maybe six months or a year ago they weren't even able to drive. This is better than mama's apple pie. <laughs> <laughs>